You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Man, 15 Minutes of Fame all day. That's my motherfucking jam right there. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> hold on. Let me just finish off. You got to finish off. Hold Wait, on. no. We're going to... The hollow thing. Wait, I'm not done with that. Wait, what you got? Yeah, the... Uh, okay, now that went to the one round. How did this come about? Like, how did it wind up coming here? To, to Massachusetts on this call. Well, Nakaya and uh, or everyone that's seen it, Nakaya was the first one. He was like, yo, this has to be fucking redone. I will pay any, whatever. Let's, let's redo this. And me and Hollow were like, yeah. Me and, like, I would battle Hollow again. You know what I mean? So he, Nakaya said, let's He said, there's no fucking way. I'm, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's lock this down now. You know what I mean? Okay. Now. Where you from, man? Exactly where you from. Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Pause. People still say pause out there. Hey. Well, when I ha- I'm hanging around a lot of young people at the radio stations. Right. If I don't say pause, they eat me a lot. Yeah, they do. What's up with that, man? I was never like no homo pause. Actually, me ha- neither. Hollow was the guy that like really, that. no matter what you say, you'd be like, yo, that was long. I'd be like, whoa, pause. I'd be like, <laughs> I always. If you say it to a man, is weird. Like if you say to him, I'm coming, you have to say pause. No, you don't. If you're a grown man, you that's fuck. what I mean. That's what they that's say. Right. I was gonna say to Hollow, I was gonna say, uh. You know why I find that gay shit funny? Because I'm not gay. What's wrong, Hollow? Do I rub you the wrong way? Does it make you uncomfortable when I come all in your face? Should I give you a few inches? You want some space? See, I just like how much it bothers you. Yo, earlier he was clowning my Tims. I said, yours are awful too. You can say we were knocking boots. (laughs) You can't even enjoy a popsicle without thinking boys are watching you. Won't even eat fruit unless it's picked by a fucking prostitute. Rather walk through a minefield in a fucking men's locker room. You know what I mean? Like, I had some funny ass shit. No, that was funny. Um, you know what? I should have used more jokes in that fucking battle because. Also, guys, you were really personal. No, the third round, I, I actually wanted to speak to him as a man. You know what I mean? I didn't mean, I wasn't like, yo, your fucking son is a bitch. Like, I was just like, yo, I think uh, as a man, I want to have a conversation with him. And, uh, and, and, and by the way, I do think Hollow's a really stand up guy, and I don't think he's a piece of shit. But, uh, you know. There's, there's some things that people we, we differ in, in certain ways, and that's all. I'll just keep it at that, right? Well, let me ask you this, because there was also something that I noticed you said in the battle. Something about, I think you said, did you say Drake owes you money? Let's not talk about that. No? I don't even, you know, you know what sucks, man? What, what bothers me is because I'm a huge Drake fan, you know what I mean? I, I love Drake. Oh, yeah. A huge Drake fan. And I'm at the point now where I think he might not even know about it. What happened was we were in a press conference, and uh, you know I don't, even, I don't even like talking about it. You know he, he put up a bet that if I won, you get an extra ten. It happened, I didn't get it. But he, you know, he's so busy, he probably just oh, fucking forgot, saying. right? He probably just fucking forgot. But there's no way I can get a hold of him. I tried in every single way. I gotta get a hold of him, and uh, you know it is what it is. You know? but I don't, I really don't care about that situation, man. I said it tonight, but not in a way like fuck. Mm-hmm. Drake owes me money. I want it. Like I know he's a busy guy. I don't give a fuck if he does it to me or not. Right? So. You say, I remember you, well, not I remember, but you just said that Hollow was pretty much the top guy of the battle. Yeah. Is sure. there anybody else that you would battle? Like, is it, because there's a lot of, did you hear the word, the term goat? Are you familiar with that? Yeah, greatest of all time. There's a lot of goats around. You know, there's the, so I heard there's the moots, the clips, the the people they consider the goats. Yeah. Is there anybody else that you would want to battle? Not really. Give me a year and I'll, and I'll pick somebody. Right now, I need to uh, just chill. Like, I, I battled Hollow. There's no bigger than Hollow. Uh, Iron, Iron's pretty cool. I mean, despite his shitty jeans. Iron! Iron, Iron called him a coward. You can come sit over here. Your jacket is come cute. On, you look cool. down, <laughs> come on, sit down, babe. Sit down, babe. And we won't even say coward. Coward. We're calling you babe. Yes, that's 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 no, it's okay. So we got Iron Solomon in the building. How's it going? Congratulations, man. Okay, okay. Thank you. you see that? Love like in the battle rap world. Thank you. It was. I thought it lived up to everything that I, I wanted Stay to on do. Camera. Who do you think and, won? <clears throat> um, it's tough to say. It's, it's really tough to say because, uh, you know, being right there in the moment is very different from when it's on camera or when you let it sink in. I thought that Hollow definitely got round one. I thought Pat got round two. And I... I I ended the battle feeling like Pat edged round three, but um, it's really hard to tell. Because I, the round three, the, the way that it went is like perfect because they both said such real shit and such different shit in the third rounds. Um, it was crazy. It was really, it was really close, and uh, yeah, I'm glad that it went that way. You know, a lot of times these big name matchups are disappointing. 
you know, I've been disappointed by big matchups that I was excited to see a lot of times. It's just, it's hard to get it all together. It's the headliner, it's the end of the night, and I think it just went really well.